Mr. Speaker, I'm not real eager to get up to speak on this, but this is something that's been a work in progress. It's one of the, been one of those last day type initiatives. My day started out in a very interesting way. At seven o'clock in the morning, my first phone call is one from one of the tribal councilmen asking if we could meet and talk about the agreement and whether or not we could address the agreement up on their reservation. And I said, sure. My next phone call was from the president of Marathon Oil who said, go ahead and raise my taxes because I have, I want to do a lot of development within that area and we'd like the good faith of North Dakota behind this agreement as well. I have never had anybody call me up before and ask me to raise his taxes. I was kind of shocked. I said, wow. And then another company, which I can't remember the name, calls me from Denver and says the same thing. So I start to ask, and I check with the representatives of the industry, and I said, you realize that if you put the ingredients in this bill, that we are raising your taxes. And depending on how you do the math, I think you're somewhere between 70 and $80 million increase on their taxes. And I can tell you the stripper well problem is a problem for North Dakota. By having those wells Bakken wells drilled in a stripper well field and to have that tax exemption is not good tax policy. But it's a tax increase on, our, on an industry that's actually feeding half of the programs that we are funding today. We are going to collect the next biennium, not counting this bill, almost $5.8 billion, including sales tax, income tax, severance tax, extraction tax from the oil industry. It's very good to us. So it was really hard for me to swallow and say, you know, we need to do this. Because it's good for several parties. It's good for the North Dakota coffers. So reluctantly, because it is a tax increase, I'm going to support it. Because I think that the key ingredient of the stripper, even though there's some of our oil companies who don't drill their wells on the reservation, are going to get hurt by this. But on the other hand, it was a tremendous loophole. Should we have addressed the trigger in this bill? I think the trigger is probably the worst oil tax policy we have. But that did not get into this bill. There's also no tax reduction in this bill, which I would have liked to have seen. I had a plan to do it by barrels or produce more oil, then the tax goes down and our coffers get fuller. But there didn't seem to be an appetite to do that in this place. And a half a percent when you're raising somebody's taxes really didn't do them a lot of good. So it, that's gone. So I'm asking you, I'm not telling you how you should vote. But I think that when you look at Representative Hedlund's comments about the jobs it creates, the security it maintains for those companies that are drilling in our state, I think it's one of those things that we should do. Is it my favorite thing? Absolutely not. I think we tax them enough, and I'd rather we tax them less. But this day, day 80, it was the best we were going to get. And I would recommend that you, uh, you move this along, because I think it's good for the overall economy in North Dakota. Representative Scar